Hi, my name is Odemus and you're watching Holistic Thriving. Today we're going to have a look at a very powerful thing which I find extremely interesting. I'm talking about caloric restriction. Uh, humans are evolutionarily adapted to chronic caloric restriction. It is even thought that it is what helped our species to survive and later dominate. We haven't changed much in time. We still can thrive on less calories, while high amounts of them are really harmful to our health. Let's go back to the days when Homo was just another kind of monkey and take a look at the early days of human evolution. For this purpose, I will use Amon Ra's work as the main resource for this video. About two million years ago, the climate in East Africa was changing and tropical vegetation was replaced with savanna-like vegetation. Unlike our close relative Paranthropus, Homo had no prominent external adaptations like a powerful jaw and teeth to deal with coarse plant foods of that time. Some say that the Homo was efficiently exploiting a wide variety of food, including meat, and this behavior seemed to be the reason why Homo survived and Paranthropus went extinct one and a half million years ago. But Amon Ra has a different idea. According to him, Homo possessed distinctive physiological attributes called the quadripartite complex, which were responsible for the survival of our species. There are four of them and they are altruciality, reduced reproductive potential, uh, encephalization and longevity. And we're going to discuss all of them later in this video. The same attributes are consistently seen in organisms um, subjected to chronic caloric restriction. All four features are interrelated by their responsiveness and dependence on metabolic rate. All right, let's dive into this. First one is altruciality, uh, aka slow development. Uh, the developmental rate of mammals is mainly dictated by two hormones, thyroid and growth hormone. Under chronic caloric restriction, levels of these hormones are reduced and animals develop at slower rate. The adaptive gain is this, it reduces uh, the quantity and quality of the food needed. Another interesting thing is human breast milk has the lowest um, protein content of any primate. Only 7% while the primate average is 20%. Uh, this adaptation is tied to developmental depression. Slowly growing infants can be sustained on milk of a lower nutritional content. Also, the nutritional profile of human breast milk suggests a perennial diet centered on low-calorie plant food. Number two, reduced reproductive potential. Animals subjected to caloric restriction um, are less fertile than free fed. Chronic caloric restriction reduces testosterone and estrogen. Both of these hormones are known to increase metabolic rate significantly. So the reduction of these two Mm, just helps to get through those hard times when you don't have much available calories. Relative to total lifespan, human females are fertile only half of the period that lady chimpanzees are. Uh, in part, this reduction uh, depends on increased longevity without any increase in reproductive longevity. In the times of food scarcity, the suppression of human fertility helps to um, reserve those precious energy reserves. Number three, encephalization, which is um, the increase of brain size. The human brain is three times the size of the average a brain and two times of the Homo habilis, the first member of Homo genus. Brain is a privileged organ receiving a disproportionate amount of nutrients it is also exceptionally sensitive to metabolic deficits. The brain is the number one receiver of nutrients while the rest of the body has to do with whatever is left. Even if there is not enough glucose in the body, 
then gluconeogenesis takes place to make glucose out of body fat. Moreover, uh, the brain can function using ketone bodies, which are also made of fat reserves. One of the most abundant uh, ketone bodies, beta-hydroxybutyrate, induces increased secretion of a brain growth factor with a role in nerve cell proliferation. Two hormones in particular are um, uh, crucial catalysts of ketogenesis, cortisol and epinephrine. Cortisol is released in response to food deprivation. It also accelerates gluconeogenesis, while epinephrine is secreted in response to physical exertion. A quote of Amal Ra, quite tellingly, while there is no experimental evidence that caloric enrichment induces brain hyperplasia, there is compelling evidence that caloric deprivation does so. This calls into question theories stating that encephalization occurred due to dietary enrichment, hunting, and meat consumption. According to Amon Ra, efficient hunting could not have started without lethal weapons which can hit the target from a safe distance. A bow and an arrow was uh, invented only about 60 70,000 years ago, so it could not have affected human evolution in these early stages. Chronic caloric deprivation imposed during the formative stages of human evolution caused a radical shift in nutrient allocation resulting in preferential provisionment and protection of the brain, uh, an alteration which ultimately accelerated encephalization. And the last one is number four, longevity. To put it simply, the lower the metabolism of the animal, the longer the animal lives. Though it's not clear how aging and longevity depend on metabolic rate, it is likely that it has a lot to do with um, free radicals. We get free radicals with ingestion of food. So the more calories an animal intakes and the faster they burn, the more damage is done to the tissues and the more the aging process is accelerated. So caloric restriction is thought to augment longevity via suppression of metabolic rate. Caloric restriction increases the efficiency of energy extraction and lower levels of radicals released per calorie consumed. If indeed humans are evolutionary adapted to chronic caloric restriction, this may suggest that dietary indulgence can do some serious damage to our species. Organisms with higher energy efficiency also have a higher capacity for energy storage as an adipose tissue. And in the case of humans, uh, we all know how overweight is responsible for a long list of problems. The reduction of metabolic rate is a universal response seen in various organisms subjected to caloric restriction. A study done with rodents subjected to caloric restriction found that animals who had the most efficient metabolism lived the longest. The suppression of metabolic rate and or change in allocation of energy and changes and increases in hormones deliver life prolonging effects. Okay, and best for last, I'm gonna leave you with a very strong statement. Caloric restriction is the only intervention consistently seen to increase the lifespan for various creatures, from yeast to rodents to primates. All right, that's all I had prepared for this video. If you have any questions, uh, ask. I will try to explain things in more detail. Um, let me know what you think about it. Maybe you want to try it. Maybe you already are doing it. You can share your experience. Also, obviously, you know, uh, <laughs> like, share, subscribe. And bye. Strive to thrive.